Benz Jones proteins are considered the first tumor marker. A tumor marker is a substance which is made by the body that is linked to a certain cancer or malignancy. Benz Jones proteins are made by plasma cells, a type of white blood cell. The presence of these proteins in a person's urine is associated with a malignancy of plasma cells. Multiple myeloma, which is the tumor of plasma cells, is the disease that often linked with Benz Jones proteins. So the amount of Benz Jones proteins in the urine indicates how much tumor is present. Urine is the best specimen to look for Benz Jones proteins. Proteins are usually large to pass through a healthy kidney. However, Benz Jones proteins are an exception. They are small enough to move quickly and easily through the kidney into the urine. Urine sample Centrifuge A plate thermometer Dosenate test tubes Beaker Distilled water And litmus paper Hey everyone! Welcome to another video. For today, we are going to talk about Benz Jones test and also discuss about the step-by-step -step procedure of how it is being done in the lab. Without further ado, let's get started. Before we dig into the actual process of Benz Jones test, let us take note that if the urine sample is negative, it's also salicylic acid test, and if it is also negative for Benz Jones test, since these proteins are precipitated by SSA. The first step of this test is to centrifuge 25 ml of urine sample. Then acidify the urine with 33% acetic acid and test whether it is acidic enough using litmus paper. The next step is to divide the urine into three test tube. To the first tube, we will add one drop of 33% of acetic acid, two drops to the second tube, and three drops to the third tube. Place the tube in a beaker of cold distilled water on an electric hot plate. Mount the thermometer in the beaker to know the temperature. Switch on the hot plate and make sure that the test tubes are not moving to avoid uneven heating. Then observe for turbidity. If Benz Jones protein is present, at least one tube will develop turbidity at 40 to 60 degrees Celsius. Heat the test tube to boiling point. At 100 degrees Celsius, it turns into clear solution. If it really contains mixture of proteins, turbidity will reappear as fault rate cools to about 50 degrees Celsius. So that's it for the Benz Jones protein test procedure. test for the presence of Benz Jones protein using serum electrophoresis at my gamma spike, ibig sabihin my presence of Benz Jones protein. And if the urine stand in certain temperature, therefore a specimen that appears turbid between 40 degrees Celsius and clear at 100 degrees Celsius can be suspected of certaining Benz Jones protein. Other tests your physician may order before diagnosis include urinalysis which can evaluate kidney function, x-rays, MRIs, or CT scans which can help assess changes in bone structure by revealing any potential tumors or bone lesions. And lastly, blood tests including a serum protein electrolyte electrophoresis test which can help your physician determine how much the disease has advanced. 
between 50 and 80 percent of people with multiple myeloma will have Ben's Jones protein in their urine. It is also linked to cancers of the lymphatic system. Ordinarily, healthy urine does not contain Ben's Jones protein. However, the results can vary between individuals and many other tests are taken into account before a physician makes a diagnosis. Benz Jones protein may also present in a condition called monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance and genius. And genius refers to when plasma cells mix more of one kind of protein found in white blood cells than the they should but do not form a tumor or otherwise damage the body.